We are less than four months away from Election Day, and it's not just the national campaigns that are getting heating up. Many local candidates are facing rising levels of harassment, intimidation, and, yeah, threats, too. Caitlin Huey Burns traveled to the battleground state of Nevada, where these aggressive tactics are being powered by big, big money. These days, for local politicians in Washoe County, Nevada, there's less and less that's civil about their discourse, especially when it comes to their school board. I want you to take these books Order. out of the schools. It's pornography. So when Beth Smith joined the school board, she knew she'd be challenged. But she didn't expect to read blogs like this, detailing her painful divorce and making light of her recent battle with cancer. What you don't expect is harassment and intimidation and attacks on you. It's that people know where you live, where your kids go to school. That just does not seem normal. It's not. When I see messaging with death imagery, I know that it's part of their attacks to get me to stop doing this work. Well, sound like uh, little sissies. Local political activist Robert Beatles might be the brawler with the barest knuckles in Washoe County. I have a ton of money and I'm going to do everything that I can to remove all of you. Beatles, seen here three years ago, says he made millions in crypto and real estate. He wrote the blog post about Smith. Are you a bully? If they're running for office and they can't take the truth about them being told in whatever light, then maybe they shouldn't be running for office. Smith isn't alone facing menacing tactics here. In 2022, both a Washoe County Commission candidate and Reno's mayor found GPS trackers on their cars. The police questioned the private investigator. He wouldn't name his client, but he did talk motive. Is it political or, or personal? It's political. Okay. It's not just Washoe. A CBS News investigation has compiled video evidence of harassment against local officials across the country. City managers. These are the people that are screwing us over as citizens. And county clerks. An unknown individual threw a partial pipe bomb into my house. Are bearing the brunt. Earlier this year, a Texas mayor received a threatening package containing a noose and a note that read, get out of the race now. Harassment of local officials, Democrats and Republicans alike, has increased by 55 percent over the past two years, according to a new study. And proximity has a lot to do with it. They shop at the same grocery stores, their kids go to the same schools. That makes them part of this kind of front line of democracy, but it also makes them often at higher risk. Shannon Hiller ran the study, which focuses on behavior experts are calling lawful but awful. Only a small percentage of this behavior is actually going to have a law enforcement or a legal um, solution, but it could be effective in terms of really disrupting democratic processes at, at their most local level. And it's driving people out. Nearly 40 percent of local officials say they're considering not running for re-election because of it. But back in Washoe County, Beth Smith is sticking it out. I beat cancer and I definitely will not stop because of this. Smith has just landed a spot on the county school board for another term. For CBS Mornings, Caitlin Huey Burns, Washoe County, Nevada. I don't know what is happening to us as a country because now bad behavior seems to be embraced and encouraged. Right. People are so mean and so vitriolic. It's actually scary to me. Well, the fact that a, a lot of these uh, acts happen anonymously, that's mm. something else as well. You can yeah. go and confront somebody in a town hall. Right. It's a healthy democracy, but when you're sending nooses and threats you're, of violence... You're living in a constant state of fear. Yep. Right. You don't know where the threat is coming from.